All right, everyone, we are back with part seven of the Odin Sphere Let's Play. We just finished the mini boss there, that abominable snowman who caused me to get a fucking B rank. It's all good, though. Let's need to learn this system more. In time, get it down to the point where I'll be playing it, getting S ranks all day. Hopefully. So let's go explore a little bit. In the last place that we met Mori, the uh, the traveling chef, got some items. That was all good. Ate some omelets and shit. I see you. I press up and circle. I've been redeemed. That was a close one, though. Yeah, that time bonus. Sometimes it's tough because you're like fighting some of the enemies and you don't move the map too much. So all of them don't appear. And then you move the map a little bit and they pop up. And by that time you've used some of your POW and your other abilities and stuff. You gotta let the cooldowns happen. Thought I heard something. Get over here. This food to eat, so let's let's eat some shit. Oh, can't pick up anymore. It's all right. And we've gained a few levels, so let's go look at these skills. We got some more of those ability points, so let's try to cash some of those in. Increases any HP recovery by 20%. It's okay, but... Increases damage of next attack by 30 after successful guard. That's good, too. So that's going to actually make you probably be a better player at the game, the combat. It's going to force you to want a guard... So you can handle like mini bosses and and tougher enemies better. I think I'm actually gonna buy that. Just to force myself to guard a little bit more, so I'm less mashy. We have six more left. Shield bash. Perform a bash by attacking by. Perform a bash attack by pressing forward just after guarding an attack. So this is almost like a, like a parry. Almost. That's cool. I kind of want to mess with that. I get down with that parry. As long as it's not as time specific as like a parry and third strike or something. Street Fighter 3 parries, man. So I can't get anything else really. 
But besides that, I think that can wait. So we'll hold off. But we got some more foes on, so let's increase some stuff. I actually want to change the layout of my attacks too. I think it'd be better if I did that up attack that I had with up circle. I would like to increase this again. I just love needle strike, but I'll save it then. But let's do that too. Did I get any new equipment? Spirit stone. Max PP up by five. That could come in handy. All right, so high thrust, we're going to change that to up circle. Needle strike, we're going to change that just to circle. Oops. Beak diver, I think we're going to change to forward circle because it's a forward thrusting move and it just makes more sense to me thinking about it to have that be uh, forward. So we'll switch. And then um, we'll switch blinding light to down circle. I think that overall makes more sense. So we got circle for needle strike, which is the thrust or the stab. High thrust, that's the up attack as up circle. Blinding light as down circle. And beat drive as forward circle. I think that makes more sense. All right, so let's just go back. I think there was anything else over here, was there? Did I miss anything? Here we need to go up. So many items. I turned around before that shit. Is that it? I think that's it. Stop floating. enemy type. There we go. Yeah, that feels much more natural. The button layout for those special moves now. Yeah. 
That's more like it. This time was good, no damage was good. The chicken and the egg. New recipe? While you can certainly cook a fresh chicken egg on its own, there's a smarter use for them. You can incubate an egg and raise the chick to have it lay even more eggs. Oh shit. Farming. First, place the egg on the ground. Chicken eggs need no warmth to hatch into a chick. No, they don't? Okay. Next, drop seeds in front of them. The chick will eat them, and after enough food, it will mature into a chicken. Well-fed chickens lay more eggs. If you have no further need for eggs, you can slay the chicken for the meat. Damn, that's brutal. Slay your pet like that? This method yields large amounts of food with minimal investment. Keep an eye on the chicken, chickens and chicks, though. They devour any seeds left on the ground. I wish I would have known that when I had that, uh, that extra seed. I guess we should mess with it then. Check it out. Do I have any eggs? There we go. And then it said to leave some seeds. And it'll eat the seed. Yo, eat that seed. It's right there. Come here, little chicky. Little chicky. Yo, eat these seeds. Yo, come eat these seeds. So, how do you do this? Well, I don't want to plant the seeds. I'm confused. Because I don't want to plant. He's not eating them. some fruit. Will it eat some fruit? Will it eat this stuff? Come here, chicken. Hey, come over here. Come on. Get your ass over here. Ah, you got them. Let's go. I want to see if you're going to eat these seeds. Come on. Oh, my God. Playing these games with me. Come on, eat it. What the hell? Okay. I'm gonna have to read this text again because yeah, this isn't making any sense. The chicken and the egg. You can incubate an egg and raise the chick to have it lay even more eggs. First place the egg on the ground. Chicken eggs need no warmth to hatch. Next, drop seeds in front of them. The chicks will eat them. After enough food, it will mature into a chicken. Well, that's what I fucking did. And how do you just drop a seed? Because 
because the options it says plant I don't see how you can drop it oh trying on down drop item Come on! I don't want you to eat my grape seed, though. Eat that seed, damn it! There we go. No, I don't want you dropping that. Eat my grape seed. It's right there. Eat it! This chicken, man. This this damn chicken. You wear a disguise and look like human guys, but you're not a man. You're a chicken. You need to get over here, and you need to eat this goddamn seed. Playing games with me, man. Oh my goodness. Eat it. Jesus Christ. It's a chicken! Holy shit! I got a chicken, yeah. I got a chicken, yeah. What can I do with the chicken now? Oh, one hit gives me chicken. Well, there's that. They didn't lay any eggs. Fuck. That is a painful process, man. Holy shit. Go to the rest stop. Rest stop, boys. Anything else before we go to the rest stop? That chicken probably gonna be uh pretty good. I wager. Maybe it'll taste like some KFC Nashville chicken. You guys had that chicken? Holy shit! That Nashville chicken is delicious, man. It's so fucking good. I thought I got away from the goblins, and now I meet the demon lord's daughter. If you're not going to kill me, buy something, will you? Let's see what you got. Some eggs, some hot cross buns. Talisman. Recover from all bad effects. 30%. You have a spirit stone. Okay, I guess I could... It's cool that I could buy these items. But I just don't see anything that I think I really need right now. So I think I'll just keep my money. Holy shit. I'm running out of space. Oh, I got two. I'm not running out of space too bad. I'll put some of this stuff away, though. Save some room for later. Okay. You gotta, you gotta always have, you gotta always be prepared. You gotta have stuff. I can go back to the other rest areas. Don't really need to. Oh. The boy Mori. What up, fam? Mori's touring restaurant. Call and I am at your service. Horn Mountain is always quite cold. Now then, what do you want to order? Well, I don't have any new recipes. But yo. Let me get an omelet. As you wish. Scuttle over here. Bring me that omelet. Man, I am really hungry. I need to eat after this game. See what I do for you guys? Just sacrificing my lunch. Get that 
get those games in. So you guys can be entertained. Oh shit. How did I get a cheese omelet? Tasty omelet with melted cheese. The cheese omelet. Looks the same as the other omelet. Will that be all? Yep, that's it. I don't have any cheese. Holy shit, look at the experience. Damn, cheese must be like a rare item or something. Thank you very much. Uh oh, mini boss. Trying to guard. Shit. Stun. Forward. Shit. Okay, so it makes that sound. Oh, I tried to guard, but... S rank. I think I just got hit too much. Yeah, my no bit, no uh, damage bonus is down a little bit. We'll get there though. I got a few of the blocks. Saturn. Angle. Some more equipment. Damage dealt and taken. Ooh, that's risky right there. <laughs> Stop messing with that right now. foes on so I guess we should just put them to good use so I guess I should increase this I haven't increased this at all so Now it's just a better cipher. I'll do it again. What the hell? Now it's even better. And we'll do high thrust as well. So this is what I was forgetting. I was forgetting to press um, forward just after the guard. I think when it made that sound, that little ping sound, it had a little purple around it too. I think um, if I press forward and attack 
or just after the guard, then I'll get the attack. We'll perform a bash attack by pressing forward just after guarding an attack. So yeah, when it glows purple makes that sound, I think it's the indicator telling me to press forward. So we'll have to mess with that in battle. to the rest area. We got a little bit more to go before we get to the boss. Like a boss. Oh, I'm about to get a level. Let's just, let's just eat some food, man. Gain this level and get some HP back. better now. I've been forgetting to do. Holy shit! I've been forgetting to dodge this whole fucking time. And she can do it three times in the air, too? God damn, I feel like a fucking idiot. Holy shit. I'll just eat this then. Alright. Remember to fucking dodge, Aaron. God damn. No S rank. That's okay. I was messing with the dodge mechanic. So. Currency of Arion. There are five types of currency on the continent of Arion. The two currencies globally accepted by merchants are Ragnan silver and Titan Titanian sil gold. Ragnan silver is a common favorite of the populace. The iconic raven is immediately recognizable. Titanian gold embossed with the profile of the previous king is worth 10 silvers. The remaining three coins were minted by the fallen nation of Valentine. They are no longer accepted as tender. The aerial coin bears a relief in the likeness of Valentine's beloved princess. That's the one all the way on the left. The Valentinian gold is branded with the royal crest, one on the right. And the commemorative coin has a striking heart motif to its design. 
Collectors now prize the coins of Valentine as works of art from a now defunct magic civilization. Consequently, they are not used for common purchases and transactions. However, there is a rumor that pukas who have recently become more active in trade favor Valentinian coins. If you manage to obtain some, it might be a valuable asset when bartering with them. There's so much shit to this game. I mean, it's a good thing, it's just it's gonna take some time to fucking digest it all. Miramasa was definitely a lot simpler than this, from what I recall. I mean, it's not that it's a bad thing. It's just going to take a little bit more time to get used to it as well, so... So we are at a checkpoint area again. And then there's a boss over here. Oh, gotcha, bitch! So this would probably be a good point to uh, call the video here. Uh, thanks for watching again. I've been Munchie. Like, comment, subscribe if you like the stuff. Take it easy, y'all.